Hey, what's good, everybody? Good morning or good afternoon, good night. Sports Live in the ATL. Slitter here. How you guys doing? I'm back to regularly life programming. Uh, vacation is over. Don't worry, I have plenty more this year uh, and everything. So I'm just getting back to the grind, man. Got to do it. It's called life responsibilities. Uh, anyways, I'm making this video right here. Please first subscribe to the channel. Share it to all your outlets. I know for some reason YouTube is messing up a lot of things. Subscribers and comments and all this kind of stuff. I don't know, but just going to keep doing what I do. But subscribe to the channel if you love it. Great, awesome Atlanta content, Georgia sports content. Just a passionate, loyal, diehard fan, all you newbies. Hey, click that subscribe button below. All you regulars, share it out to everybody. And regulars, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button. Um, I have some uh, an idea that I want to do for this upcoming NFL football season. Obviously, we can start it um, before the, 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 the preseason and training camp and all that. I know uh, the uh, playoff games, the wild card games are getting started this weekend. I want to say good luck to everybody in the tournament, except for egomaniac Tom Brady, Kyle Shanna choke the first two. Those are the first two guys I want to see gone, and then I'll go from there after that. Um, so that's what I'm hoping. I, I will be streaming the game Monday night. Dallas Cowboys. I'm, I'm a huge Cowboy fan. This week. Monday. I'm like the biggest Cowboy fan ever. So you could just, you know, like, was it the star? Tony Dorsett, Roger Staubach, Days, Danny White, Drew Pearson, Bates, all this stuff. I'm a huge, massive, I'm a massive Dallas Cowboy fan on Monday. I want to see Tom Brady, first of all, lose. I want to see Tom Brady get eliminated, retired. If he doesn't retire, I hear reports he might go to the Raiders are a good landing spot. So what? Raiders suck. I wouldn't care if he went over there. I wouldn't care. I don't care where he goes as long as it's out of my division and not with the 49ers or Dolphins. Other than that, I'm good. Other than that, I'm good. Uh, but anyways, what I wanted to say is I'm, you know, for those who know me all these years, I've never been labeled in a group. I've never been the DBN, Dirty Bird Nation. I've never been any Falcons content group. I've always rode solo. I've always done everything for my fanhood, for myself, because I don't like being under an umbrella. I don't like having rules. Another reason why I left the NFL trash talking circle many years ago is because I don't like being under rules. I don't like, you know, you know, grown men and people telling me I have to have something done at a particular time, blah, blah, blah. I do my stuff when I'm ready, when I feel like it. And um, I'm an honorable individual. Nobody can say that I haven't honored any bets or, or crowed on time. You know, I just don't like this 24 in you know, the 24 hour. What? No, I do it when I want, and it seems to work for everybody else. And it definitely works for me because whenever I do it, I get the attention uh, that is due when you're a passionate fan and you do your crows or whatever you want to call it, your celebratory biz, whatever. But I was thinking about it the other day. There are some really good Atlanta Falcon video makers. Uh, some recently came in last year, some been here a couple years, that I would like to do a lot more things with. Laugh Not Famous, uh, RUA, Rise Up ATL, a lot of y'all know him. Wolf, A1, Day One, a lot of you guys are starting to know him. Toxic Falcon. You know, there's some other ones out there, you know, Falcon fan that do videos. I'm talking Falcon fans who do videos consistent. You know, I've never been one to do the breakdown stuff or anything like that, but you know, I can do it when I need to. You know, I, I I try to start things, but I get so busy. But, you know, in order for me to continue something that I want to do, I have to have interaction. So I'm looking at starting uh, an Atlanta Falcons YouTube group. Um, the criteria of it would be passionate video makers who do consistent videos. Okay, as far as the, the video side panel. And, you know, if you're you know, really good and loyal and, and passionate in your chatters and all you want to do is chat, that's fine too. But moderators, slit -em odds will only be the panel video makers. I have to know what you're about. If you're new, but you're a video maker, I got to support your channel. I got to check out your channel, see what it's about, see if it's, see if it's up to snuff. Because I need people who are in the group who know their football, who can take criticism. Okay, I don't want to you know, have people come into my, my panel and just act like their opinions are the only one that matters. You got to be open minded. You got to be willing to debate. You know, just because we're Falcon video makers and Falcon fans, that don't mean we're not going to have differences of opinions. It does happen. That's, that was the problem 
many years ago with me and the people in the DBN and other content creators out there now is that they don't like the fact that I'm very opinionated. Like I have to kiss their smack, you know, you know, to to uh, to get to get noticed. You know, a lot of them I've been on their channels in the past, but they never want to come on mine. It's like okay, that's fine. So I need also video makers who are willing to go back and forth, not only come on my, my, my channel, but everybody in the panel's channel. Everybody has something to offer. Uh, so I'm looking into that right there. If you're interested, please let me know. Comment below. Let me know why you feel like you'd be a good representative of my new Atlanta Falcons group. Uh, I don't know what the name is. Uh, again, I mentioned in the uh, comment section, if, if anybody has a good three-letter name or four-letter name, type it below. You know, I want it to be creative. I want it to have some attachment with the Falcons and everything. I, but you must carry yourself as professional as possible, but also have a funny side. I don't. I'm not here to ch to change anybody's personality and how they rep. But I can't have a lot of vulgarity. You know. You know. You can be upset on it all the time. But I want people. You know, who can come in and 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 bleed the Falcons and rep the Falcons well, make a lot of sense, do videos. You know, bounce around to each other's streams. I'm not in. One thing I'm gonna tell you is you're you're not committed to stay. You don't have to make it your your lifelong thing because it's not a life thing for me. This is in my spare time. Okay. Uh, I don't know about you know in the NFL trash talking circle. We used to have hate weeks and battles. You, you look. You battle who you want. You battle who you want. Uh, do not expect anybody else to get into it though. Okay. They can only get into it if they want to. This this new group is. If I do it, is going to be professional for the most part. Just doing what what we always what we enjoy doing, repping our teams. We, you know, you can branch out into the Braves, Hawks, and Georgia if you like, at certain moments. You know, but it is predominantly Falcons. You know, because I, I mean, I feel like I mean, like I said, I've never put a label into a Falcons group. I've never wanted to be a part of one because I go solo. But if I create one, it's an extension of myself, and and I know exactly how I want it to go. So if you're interested, please comment below, uh, especially the ones that I mentioned. And if there's people out there that I don't know, hey, comment below and I'll check you out. But I got to go. I just wanted to drop this quick video. I was thinking about it. Uh, I don't know if I'll stream any games tonight when I get back in. That, the AFC wildcard game, I'm planning on going out tonight. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Sunday, I don't know if I'll stream any of the games because the games that are on aren't, aren't laughable games. What I mean is... I could care less who wins or lose. The only one I care about is the Niners and Seahawks. Unfortunately, I'm working at the time, so I can't stream that one or else I would. And uh, Monday night. For some strange reason, I got next weekend off, but I'm working five straight days after that. That's all good. So obviously next weekend I can stream the divisional games, and there'll be some moments, some games where I'll stream. Because I'm going to stream, uh, if the Niners move on, I plan on streaming that game next week. If Tampa Bay unfortunately moves on, I plan on streaming that game next week. I'm going to get my laughs in. Just because it's not the Falcons, I'm going to get my laughs in. You know how I roll. So stay tuned for all that. And uh, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for all the support on my channel. Uh, we'll see what 2023 brings for my channel. And I'm also doing this to help your channel. Okay? So have a great Saturday. Georgia Bulldog, I know, have their parade today, but I'm working. You guys have fun and be safe. You already know I'm repping. I'm repping. I will be doing a video. Um, I'll be doing a video probably tonight or tomorrow uh, showing my new sports room in, the, in, in my past room in the back corner. I made it a sports uh, room. It's decked out. There's no nothing pinned to the walls. I'm not going to have it mess up the paint, but I believe it looks good. It looks like a sports room. Call it Slitter Sports Bar, <laughs> so to speak, and I'll do a little quick video on that this weekend, tonight or tomorrow, depending on my plans. So everybody have a good one. Be safe, be humble, be respectful. Happy 2023. Make it your best year yet. No regrets. Don't complain. Go out and get it. And I'll see you in the next one. Woo!